my loves. Uh, so today's video is all about going out makeup and the easiest way to do your makeup when you go out clubbing, bar, you know, when you go out with your friends at night. Um, I, I go out quite a lot, so, and I don't have time to, you know, uh, do my makeup properly, you know, spend like, ages on it because you know most of the time it's after work so if you want to see how to get this ombre styled glitter liner just keep on watching okay, so we're going to use sellotape you can use any sellotape you like just if you're going to use the normal clear one the back of your hand just get rid of the stickiness a little bit so you won't pull on your eye too hard so i'm going to place it at an angle like so underneath the eye so you can have the really straight line and then that will help you to get a really sharp uh, line which I think looks really cool for night outs so for this I'm going to start with my Smashbox full exposure palette I'm going to take a very fluffy this one is MAC 3D6 and I'm just going to use a nice transitioning colour this one I'm just going to dab it and place it all around in the socket. That will just give us a really light definition. All the other colours and you know other things. That will just start us off with you know a nice base for the eyeliner. So I'm going to make it really nice and dark. I'm gonna get a flat brush. have nice sharp line if you're going out and you want a really really quick line and I'm gonna use a black matte color that could be any black matte color that you like and I'm just going to go at the end and really do a gradient I want the purple to come through just at the end like so so we have the liner done, eyeshadow, this one is by Kiko, it's cream number 5 and it's amazing, just look at this, it's stunning. I'm going to use that cream crush eyeshadow uh, right in the middle of my inner corner and the inner duck. Uh, so I'm just going to get a really dense brush, I use this a lot, this is amazing. I'm going to place that right in the middle, going up, still following. Liner. I'm going to use a glitter liner for this and it's going to get messy so the best and the most quickest option you can get it's a uh, glitter liner. I got this one from Collection 2000 or Collection as I think they changed their name. This one I have so many colours of those for going out for really just adding something to your eye makeup. I think it's really gorgeous. Uh, this one is called Glam Crystals in the color 11 shake it up so I'm gonna use that on the other half of my eyeliner after my silver eyeshadow so what I'm gonna do is place that right in the middle you can really build it up to as high as you want now that we have the silver cream shadow and the glitter, it does look a bit, I'm just keeping my eyes down so it dries, but there is no like tr transitioning colour and it doesn't look too polished and looks very basic. So we want to kind of blend these two together. And the glitter is still drying. When the glitter is still drying, just take your shadow again with the same brush, dense brush and dip it in. And again, we're going to lightly work the eyeshadow into the line. I'm gonna just dab my fingers. Don't worry if the glitter will be stuck on the eyelids when you open your eyes up. Now that our glitter liner is done, we can gently pull the tapes off. Oh, now we have perfect sharp line. Obviously now we took off a little bit of our concealer and blush, but that's, that's all right. I'm just gonna get my small foundation brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to buff out all these imperfections. So I just took off some of the um, glitter that was stuck on my eyelids with just a brush and I just brushed it all through nicely to keep it 
place and blended. So for our lower lashes, I'm going to use a very sharp liner brush. The dense brush that we use for our cream shadow is quite good as well. I'm going to use this purple eyeshadow. This is the Smashbox on the rocks. I'm going to use that underneath my eyes. Uh, you can keep this area clean if you like this look. I would just eyelashes and leave and put no mascara underneath. Um, I think that would look really cool as well. I'm just going to use a purple shadow and a dense brush uh, and again smudge it everything underneath. Look, so don't worry if it's you know, we think the wing is too big or too glittery, it's supposed to be this dramatic, and I, I love how it turns out. I'm gonna go in and add mascara and put some eyelashes on. So, this is my finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and learned a new trick, uh, like using the cellar tape to get this perfect liner. I hope you will like, subscribe to this video if you want to see more videos and you want to be informed just subscribe to my channel i hope you have a nice day and i will see you on my next one bye